Greetings, gentle viewers! Howdy, howdy! That's right! We're finally starting Danganronpa 2 and stuff! Goodbye, despair! I guess the game's over then. Is that not how it works? You know, I, I get the sense that this may have a happier ending than the ambiguous, interesting, interesting ending of the first <laughs> game words. With the ambiguous, interesting of the first game. So we sort of get to see the characters a little bit here. The one that looked like Fat Byakuya amused me greatly. <laughs> and I'm wondering just how many things like that. Why is there a rabbit carrying that away? And does that have something to do with, with Vir Virtue's last reward? <laughs> right? Yeah. Morokuma Jr. Any Mono Usagi, huh? Yeah. In any case, we don't need too much of an introduction considering what happened, or considering the ending of the last one, it just felt, it felt like it flowed naturally into the sequel, right? Right, right. So it seems, it seems like we haven't really stopped playing. Uh, we do want to say a couple of things. Nice twin tails, very blonde. Looks That's like her sleeves kind of extend past her hands. Yeah. Is that, a, is that a kimono or really baggy clothing? I think it might be a kimono. kind of looks like the belt. No, wait, come back! Okay, the Rocket Punch Diner or <laughs> Airport. I guess it's an airport, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, Rocket Punch, good, because robot's good. Oh, great. I got distracted by paying attention to the game. We well, got distracted by Rocket Punch, so... Ah, I see! <laughs> yeah, see? Doesn't that look like Fat Byakuya? <laughs> it's, it's just because hairstyle and... Glasses, Glasses yeah. and fat, but... <laughs> and his walking is funny, too. Okay, no, stop paying attention. I gotta talk. All right, this time around. In order to come up with who was going to, with uh, which one of us was going to voice whom? which, whom, things, words, it, yes, we are commentating. <laughs> we asked the Discorders, and they all got together and came up with the Palette Matrix. We had a lot of very specific requests that were highly scientific and mathematical. And they, they didn't just throw darts at a board, I promise. They assure us that they took our considerations under consideration. Oh my god, what's Wolverine doing here? Wolverine, great. <laughs> Sorry, we're getting distracted again. So there you have it. Anyway, this time around, Billy is going to be the main character, mm -hmm. whoever that may be. And uh, that means I also will be da uh, Danganronpa. I don't even know. I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> David I, will be Monokuma. And I will be Monokuma. Or maybe I'll be Danganronpa. I have no <laughs> idea anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I'm giving up on everything. I'm giving up on life. Oh, oh, God. No, don't. Don't fall into despair. Say goodbye to it. Hello, despair. I did it wrong. I fail at everything. It's okay, Damon. It's okay. Okay, 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 okay. You thought we were about to get started, but Foolish th viewers. there's actually a few more things to do after all. Don't you like how I said, this? the first game flowed right into this one, so we don't have to give an introduction, and then I'm given like a 97 minute introduction? Ah, well, you know how it is. It's just the way we roll, it's just the way <laughs> we roll. Okay, first off, we will be releasing the rest of the free time events that we didn't do from mm -hmm. Dongon Rompa. We're, we're gonna be doing it kind of in spare time. Right, right, So right. I can't give you a- Our free time, if you will. As it turns out, what a coincidence. <laughs> So I, we can't give you some sort of a time frame on it, but we we will get them. We're not gonna do school mode, but right. we're gonna get the free time events because we really do want, we really want to see them yeah. so we can get a better idea of the characters. So Damon. What what now? We uh, gotta move on, uh, right? Uh, Ostensibly. Just, just one more thing. I can't help but notice the 8-bittiness, video gaminess looking quality to this. I just want to remind everyone that one of our theories is the whole computer simulation thing. I just felt that that was important to touch upon. Huh, come to think of it, you're right. Well, I had something else that I was going to say on that topic myself, uh -huh. which was, you know, this music is almost identical to the Dongon 1 uh -huh. music for the opening, or I mean, for the intro screen, title yeah, screen, yeah. title! Why can't I talk? And just as asked, we didn't, we didn't look at, at, the, the, opening, at the intro, yeah. like the opening animation thing. Um, but we did hear it begin to start and it seemed to be the same song. Yeah. I don't think the fact that the music is the same is, is coincidental. Right. This is missing some of the, some of the percussion. Okay. Like this, this tune right here that's playing right now is missing some of the percussion. Uh-huh. So it's like, Danganronpa, but less of it. Like, does it, does that mean something? Probably, or they just wanted to change it up a bit because it's the second game. There might not be anything to it, but you know how we are. Yeah, and sometimes we're right too. When we last left off, I have no idea. Yeah, 
it, it was very kind of uh, non-specific how we left well, off. I, I get that it's sort of a leave it up to your imagination, and we'd always been doubting that it was real. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you could never really make up your own mind. Yeah. Because there was always something on for, sort of an argument for each side. But we knew that at that time, as far as we knew, <laughs> those were the last students at Hope's Peak. Right. Now, we also know that we were class 78. Right. And those and those and class 78 left. Yes. They're gone. Okay? And Monokuma got back up. Yeah, yeah. So so that means somebody else is Monokuma. Mm -hmm. If there's other people here, well, class 78 was in Hope's Peak for 2 years, so there would be a class 79. Yeah. So yeah. maybe this is class 79 and also so anyway, we had literally no idea if this is before, <laughs> after, in another dimension, on another planet, or on a tropical island. Like, what is that in the top right? Oh, yeah, it does look like Are raisin we... palm trees. Has it always been on a tropical island? <laughs> in Hawaii, perhaps? <laughs> Easter Island? The, the continent of Atlantis? The Moo <laughs> Empire? Whatever, we're starting the game! Huh. Oh, this is exactly the way it was in the first game. But there were only two settings. It was gentle and or kind and mean. There wasn't gentle. Right, well, put it all on mean. Come on. Well, obviously. Uh, something else that I remembered, more housekeeping. The housekeeping will continue until the house is clean, which is never because it's filthy. <laughs> we uh, Somebody had, had mentioned, why don't you put the characters in Japanese for the Danganronpa 1 free time event? Uh-huh. So we can hear what they sound like in Japanese. Right. And we're going to do that. Yeah. Hey. Hey, what's up? You hear the waves? I hear the waves, yes! Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you! Oh. Are you okay? That is some messy hair! Is this guy, like, the ultimate emo? I don't know, but doesn't his jacket look interesting? I mean, you can't help but notice it's Makoto's hoodie. Right? You seem pretty out of it. And it's got, he's got Makoto's voice actor, too. Ha! Huh. Well! To be honest, I'm also... No, everyone else feels the same, too. Since we suddenly got put in this weird situation. So that can't be Makoto, though. Unless this does happen in the future. Okay, well, see, it's like this, right? Uh -huh. Right, Billy? Yeah, maybe it's like 30 years later or like three. Or <laughs> okay, Billy. Makoto's aged really well, if that's the case. Yeah, he grew like four feet taller. And... <laughs> no, no, if he grew four feet, then he'd be nine feet tall. Because I still remember the numbers. And we're going to do that in this game, too. Mm. I've got to learn everyone three, everyone's three sizes. Or at least the people that, that uh, matter. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> see, Billy? Uh -huh. I, was, I was Makoto originally, right? Now that you're voicing the main character, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. Whoever the main character is, it's not this guy, right? Something like Makoto, the old main character, has adopted the Billy wavy living hair. Do you kind of see what I mean by this? Oh. Because this is sort of, other than the color, like living hair that yeah. attaches itself to nearby <laughs> organisms, uh, is capable of consuming uh, insects or... Uh, he knows my secret. It's, his hair is, is really scary. It really is kind of like a cross between this and Yasuhiro. It's, it's pretty terrifying. No, there won't be a face reveal. Hey, are you listening? I don't understand. Why am I here? What happened? I should try to remember that first. I began to think, disentangling the twisted knots that had formed in my mind. Oh, the narration is already better. If this were poor Makoto, he'd be like, I hated myself or some <laughs> such. No, no, no. I'm being too hard on him. I know I'm exaggerating. I did like Makoto towards the end, but it did make me angry that he was like such a milk toast for so long. Think, 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 think. You know, Billy, I should ask you something. Yeah. I would do it myself, but I don't remember. What's the Winnie the Pooh theme song? Winnie the Pooh, ooh, Winnie the Pooh, ooh. That's about it. I actually can't remember all of it. Which wow! Which is kind of shocking if you know, if you know, like, my propensity to just belt out. Not only uh, does Billy have living parasitic hair that's capable of uh, wounding and killing small animals and devouring it. Maybe you shouldn't be revealing its secret in such close proximity to me, Damon. Well, nobody will ever believe it. Fair point. Ignore what I said. But he is also an infinite repository of every song he ever heard in his childhood, including commercials. 
<laughs> After these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> so it's pretty terrifying. I'm, it's to the point where people who know him can be like, hey, Billy, what was the theme song to this cartoon I watched when I was six? And he'll just <laughs> sing it. So that he didn't know Winnie the Pooh. It's pretty amazing. Anyway. As I gathered the fragments of my scattered memories, I began to piece together what actually happened. It is a stronger narration already. That's right. I... I... Hey, I don't remember. You okay there, buddy? Hey, 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 wait, what? Starting PCS version 1.01? What's going on? You can upgrade to the pro version. <laughs> okay. Dangan Nongpa 2. Goodbye, despair. Delete it. This is just making me more suspicious. Okay, so now we're playing a character playing Dongan Rompa 2 while playing Dongan Rompa 2. Dongonception! That day, it wasn't just a typical day for me. It was a day that felt truly significant. Man, what is up with all the music just being similar to previous tracks? And when that long-awaited day finally came, I felt proud in a way I can't really put into words. I will say this. I have heard... Uh, that uh, Danganronpa 2 is generally liked, mm -hmm. uh, like the, generally the best liked game in the series. Okay, okay. Well, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? So anyway, everything seems to be like Danganronpa, but enhanced! <laughs> Supercharged! 2.0! <laughs> well, just the music is more complex and stuff so far. I felt like I had just become a part of something greater than myself. Does that make sense? Hmm. Actually, that's exactly what it was like. I was truly in a dream. Ha! Huh. Well, you shouldn't think like that, main character son. <laughs> main character son! That's amazing! We don't know his name! I like how he has the Makoto head spike. He does have the Makoto head spike. Is it just passed down from main character to main well, character? Well, it's like the next time somebody has got like rings or perhaps donuts. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and I mean, not horseshoes, that'll hurt. But you know, you're trying to like play a game, you can just throw it on his hair. <laughs> and no, 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 you're trying to land it on the peg. God, see, you people. See. So what is he, the ultimate peg head? <laughs> the ultimate peg head. Hope's Peak Academy. That place was so much more than a school to me. Kids who love to play baseball will long to join the major league. Funny you should say it that way, and as it turns out, you're wrong already, but... <laughs> Kids who love to play soccer will long to join a rep team. Whatever that is. And ever since I was a kid, I felt the same way about Hope's oh, Peak I Academy. Oh, I see. It's been his dream to be one of the super elite people in society, which, uh, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Who yeah. doesn't want to be, like, rich and powerful and famous if they want? It's in a different spot on the map. Is it? It wasn't in the middle. It wasn't? It wasn't in the middle this time. And it was before. It was before. It's also high... It zoomed straight in. It's also higher resolution. Well, it could still be in the same place on the map. We'll have to compare... <laughs> Look, this is what you guys asked for, right? <laughs> you can't complain! You knew what you are getting yourself into! Hope's Peak Academy is a government-funded school for the privileged elite of society. I'm telling you, it's in a higher resolution, and that matters too! That means it's either more real or less real! <laughs> so you can't come to any conclusion about it, but it's important. <laughs> Help me! It recruits top students from every imaginable field to inspire hope. And in doing so, shape the future! That's how the ad went, what do you want? Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned- You already started spouting commercials! <laughs> Whenever Hope's Peak Academy is mentioned, it's only a matter of time before someone says, If you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. They always say it in that exact same way. It's very weird. And just so you know, that's not a joke or an exaggeration at all. Many of the current leaders of various industries are actually alumni of this school. More like uh, Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati? Yeah, know. Illuminati. Yeah. Well, that's basically what Hope's Peak Academy is all about. As they say, it's truly the Academy of Hope. Ah, if only I knew. Such young naivete. There are two criteria you must meet in order to attend this school. One, you must be a current high school student. Two, you must be the very best at what you do. Unlike other schools, there aren't any entrance exams to this academy. The only way to get in is if the school scouts you itself. That is how Hope's Peak Academy operates. You know what that means? It means that academics don't matter in the real world, just connections. Well, Yasuhiro got in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now, because of the talents of those who are chosen, the students of Hope's Peak Academy are called Ultimates. But even though I'm finally going to Hope's Peak Academy, the school I desired more than anything okay, else... Okay, so he doesn't have an ultimate either? Doesn't seem like he's about to say something like that. It does kind of seem like that. Now, Maybe he doesn't consider himself an ultimate yet. Well, it doesn't matter what he thinks. It matters yeah. what Hope's Peak thinks. Well, okay. You know, if, if in fact, it's the exact same thing as Danganronpa 1 with seemingly no differences... Doesn't that make it except, more suspicious? Except that everything is, you know, higher resolution. Then, yeah, it not only makes everything more suspicious, but it, it, there, it would, there would be meaning in picking a character like this. Yeah. The truth is, uh, my circumstance is a little different than that of my peers. Yeah? Well, I guess I can put that aside for now. You guys can speculate on it later. You'll find out soon enough, and it's nothing special worth talking about, I think. I've got it. Wait. Who am I talking to? He's the ultimate procrastinator. <laughs> In fact, I was invited to this school six months ago. <laughs> anyway, I guess I should introduce myself first. Please. I'm not so special that I have to introduce myself. And formalities are always a little embarrassing. Well, this is what's expected. I guess that's how I should think about it. Yeah, he's completely different from Makoto, all right. My name is Hajime Hinata. Hmm. There's only one reason I came to Hope's Peak Academy. Because I admired Hope's Peak Academy. To me, attending Hope's Peak Academy is like being a celebrity Hold up. or a superhero. Kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Check out his tie. Oh. That Hajime. Look, looks like part of a something. Hajime. Yeah? Oh, no, I'm, I'm just trying to remember remember names. Ah, okay, okay. I mean, it would, you, you know, it could... He's got an interesting looking pen, too. On his uh, pocket. Yeah, yeah. I was or maybe that's an that. embroidery or something. I was looking at that too. Hmm. Pretty small and skinny, dude. I like how his bangs kind of frame his face like that. Like his hair's kind of. I mean, he's kind of just normal looking. Right. Even more normal looking, generic looking than Makoto. I feel. I would agree with you, except that that this dude, he really needs like a hoodie, perhaps. Because... I, I meant like. Basic no, period. I know yeah. what you're saying, uh -huh. but it's like he looks so skinny. Like, what does he weigh? Like four pounds? But okay, okay. So, so the 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 spike peg on top of his uh -huh. head. Which way does that go? I think it goes to the left. Okay, that's what I was thinking too. That's so kind of what it looked like from the back. Yeah. So if his spike peg goes to the left and his bang spike goes down to the right, that either means he has a Z on his face oh. or it's like a lightning bolt on his face, which <laughs> would make a pretty awesome robot helmet. In fact, instead of calling it admiration, it's more like it's always been a dream of mine. Does everyone understand? It's been a dream of his! We have to highlight the word dream! That's why. To feel like a member of society. To become someone oh, yeah? I'm proud of. Yeah? I wanted to. For that reason alone, I always wanted to. <laughs> Does not come pew 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 always. Always, 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 always. Until now, I never wanted to admit how painfully ordinary I really am. That's why... Hope. hope. I might not... Okay, I might have admired talent individuality, but I have finally, forever oh, tried my best. Finally came true three plus D. Well... Huh? Oh, don't start that again. What is this? Are you trapped in reality simulation? It certainly looks that way, doesn't it? That it does. It's a door. There's a door. Doaka arimas. Koko ni haite kudasai. Still, I need to hurry and open the door. Haite kure. Because I need to go inside this classroom. Hide it! Need? What need? How brain work? Es especially thinking about how Danganronpa 1 ended with them, like, opening the, the door outside, yeah. and there was, like, the big flash. Uh-huh. And now the second game begins staring at a door. And the first person the we kind of see door, is but... someone with Makoto's voice actor, and it kind of looks like him. 
Yeah, the hoodie anyway, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, his, his eyes and face made me think of him too. No, I should hurry. I'll be late for class. Do you have the toast in your mouth? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh dear lord, look at these people! Where did these people come from? Is that even a human? Did he have a sword? It looks like hey, he does! That, that was a kimono. Hey, you were right. I like the girl with horns! Yeah, and then we we then we have like a freaking ninja? Or is that a devil may cry character? And then of course fat Byakuya, right? And that there. is fat Byakuya! He's got the same tie thing! I bet he's a togami. I bet he is a togami. Doesn't that person in the jumpsuit kinda look like Mondo, the facial features? The yellow jumpsuit in the back? Maybe it's pretty ridiculously colored though. Also, <laughs> Also, I noticed that there's somebody with almost Sakura-sized boobs in the back. <laughs> oh, God! Why does that girl have horns? I don't know, man, but let's, let's move on! And then, of course, there's that guy. The Dr. guy in the far Wolverine, right, Wolverine. Who's totally a student. I bet he is 13 years old. <laughs> Doesn't he look like a 13-year-old? He, he does, I love how sometimes you find these high school students, uh -huh. and you're like, that's... <laughs> give me a break. Come on. That's an adult. Who goes there? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. And then there's the girl... Are you feeling all right? You look quite pale. Then there's the girl who... Kind of reminds me of like a pumpkin or like a gourd next to the kimono girl. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the one that's combing her hair currently. Yeah, the one with something of a girl pompadour. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, yeah, I agree. You be... You're also a freshman at this school, right? It's just a lot to take in here. Uh, then you're all... And, and if. And the and not Makoto in the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, doesn't he kind of doesn't he kind of seem like uh, like Makoto Sephiroth or something? I mean, it's just like that. Maybe maybe. Shall I give you despair? Or maybe maybe more like uh, Kingdom Hearts Riku. Yeah. Just, yeah. just like that. I am super cool and kind of goth emo look. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he's I'm sure he's fine. It's possible he's even Makoto, but it doesn't matter. See for yourself. We're all freshmen too. How can I tell by looking at you? Yeah, that that dude on the far right's totally a freshman. These guys. Everyone? Is that an Oni in the background? Yes. The freshmen who were accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. The Ultimates? I assume freshmen like us have been gathered in this classroom. But mysteriously, I have no memory. Gathered? All right, now we have no idea who's vo voicing who, so it's time for our first consultation of the Palette Matrix. We call it the Palette Matrix because in order to avoid giving us names, uh -huh. we were given a color palette. Yeah, and like a brief description. Yes. Can I say I appreciate that the BGM name- Is being listed? Yeah. Like, who cares about the levels? That's a neat bit of graphics, especially for a visual novel. But seeing the track name, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then what is that, like a radar in the top right? Anyway, interface looks good. Maybe um, so, yeah. Man, so, Yaki has let himself go. Yeah, yeah, he has, but this guy's a freshman. Hey, why don't you just come inside for now? Oh my god. Oh, is something wrong with you, sir? Huh? Uh, yes, of course! Oh, it's harder to see who's talking! Wait, why am I being so polite? I know they're called the Ultimates, but they're still high school students like I am. Well, this guy might eat you to death. That's fair! That's right. First impressions are crucial in moments like this. I need to act more confident. God dang, man! We've got, we've got like 15 or 16 or 17 or 27 more <laughs> characters that we all have to learn their names right now! <laughs> dang! We're gonna have to practice or something! Thus, to hide my nervousness from the others, and while trying my very best to act cool. 
I stepped inside, closed the door behind me, and sat in an open seat at the back of the classroom <laughs> without making eye contact or talking to anyone. Because look at these people! <laughs> They'll kill you! They're They'll terrifying. kill you if you interact with them! <laughs> I mean, there's like a, a Yu Yu Hakusho character over there, the one with the scarf. And why does everybody have these Wugada hooks, blades, spikes, and weapons on their head? <laughs> God, can't these people just use a comb or something? Look, the girl with the kimono has like a boomerang or maybe like two <laughs> curved swords. <laughs> and you know, Ninja has a hook. <laughs> anyway, what just happened earlier? Who the heck knows? I gotta make the small talk somehow. I wanted to be here and then a classroom door appeared right in front of me. Nothing suspicious about that oh. at all. Okay, so he was somebody who has different circumstances than everyone else. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be here, a door appeared in front of me and he began playing Danganronpa 2? That does seem to be how it appears. Whoa! As if I was drawn to it and reality started crumbling down around me. But. How did I walk to this classroom? And when did I become a sprite character? <laughs> Why am I two-dimensional? I mm, don't remember. Something's weird. weird. Uh, excuse me. What? The same voice actor! <laughs> it's Biakia! <laughs> what is it? Why are we all together to play Chowhua? <gasps> the sign! Oh my god! It's the same one as uh, one of the rooms. I was so busy looking at, at Flabkia, I didn't even notice! <gasps> it was one of the rooms that, that was, like, damaged. I don't remember if that was the I'm case. I'm pretty sure that sign was peeling when we saw it. But I remember, you know, you might be right, like, what, on the... In, in, in like, the second floor dorms. Or, oh, maybe it was. In any case, in any case, we've seen it. Yeah. I remember at the end of the last, at, of the last game, uh... We were really trying to tr get the layout of every place mm -hmm, and like mm -hmm. the identity of the like what the rooms were because right. we were thinking the other games took place in Hope's Peak. This might be relevant. So, right. so yeah, man, I might have to go check some of that stuff. Why are we all gathered in this classroom? No one said anything about coming here. So, is there like an entrance ceremony or homeroom happening now? Hmm. Well, actually, we were just about to discuss that matter. I love that face. That is pretty excellent. <laughs> Discuss? It's all clear now. Well, since you are the last student to arrive, let's start the discussion. Are, you, are you going to lead the discussion? Oh my god! Well, it's Oni Woman to the Matrix! Eh, this is everyone. How do you know? This is one sense of style. <laughs> uh, she's got barbed wire, it appears, around her neck. That necklace kind of looks like barbed wire. Basically, she's a hot topic. Yes. She is a hot topic from the mall that was anthropomorphized <laughs> into some sort of a golem. She's got, like, spikes for earrings coming out of her ears. And I can't tell if that hair, if those hair, that hair, 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 horns, horns, hair, hair, bam, 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 bam. Oh, God. Control the leaf. I was about to play Danganronpa 2. <laughs> Level one. I know, I know. Uh, but anyway, she's got like the the facial piercings. Uh huh. Uh, that like, like the a little... sailor fuku though. Well, yeah, it's a. It, it, she'd have her school uniform, which this place apparently does like the sailor fuku. Uh, well, we know that. I know. I just think it's weird that with her sense of styles, she still wore the fuku. Actually, this is her casual clothes. Yeah, man, how weird. Okay, and it's like the hair in her horns, because those are that's that's the styled hair. But how much effort did it take to? Like to to highlight all that. She can never she can never lower her hair. Yeah, it's, it's like, like permanently hairsprayed into if, horns. If somebody touches her hair, like they'll become so flammable <laughs> that like the existence of fire in the world somewhere will set them on fire. <laughs> that, that's pretty amazing. But the thing that's sort of interesting about her is that mm. the I mean the look on her face. She she doesn't look like she has some crazed attitude or something. Right, right. right. She looks kind of genuine. That's well, so weird! The last person, and the scrunchie, I didn't even, we didn't even say anything about the scrunchie. I was trying to figure out if it was a scrunchie or like dog tags or something on a bracelet. Anyway, the last person that uh, we said was genuine was Mukuro, so, yeah. you know, take, make of that what you will. <laughs> there are only 16 desks in this classroom, and this guy is the 16th student. Oh, really? Oh, yeah? Oh, really? Such it's obvious if you bother to think about it. 
Uh, is this a human? Or, I... or is this like a character from a, from a Osamu Tezuka manga? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, he? She? Terrifies I, me? I think it's a she because I think those may be enormous boobs. But I can't tell. Why am I always? Anyway, I can't tell. Let's consult the Matrix, which will tell us. Gee, do I voice anybody at all, guys? <laughs> Come on here. <laughs> Well, we did confirm that it's a boy. And just what are we going to talk about? <laughs> okay. I call him like a thief of David. I guess you do. So is that, doesn't that look like chainsaw blades in I, the hair? It does kind of look like chainsaw blades. He's got some kind of braids on the side of his head too. At least I hope those are braids. Why is he so round? We'll never know. Shapist? The reason we're all gathered here in this classroom? First, I need to confirm something. Out of everyone here, is there anyone who actually remembers how they came to this classroom? Oh, I see. So it's already started then. Yeah. Eh? Hey! It's, it's different than her! I'll take it! We all looked around at each other. A surprised look appeared on everyone's face. Not one person raised their hand. So before you realized it, you were in this classroom. Then everyone here is in the same predicament. Very strange. No matter how you look at it, it's unnatural. Even you stupid looking ones would agree, right? Y aren't you a stupid looking one? <laughs> to the color palette! Matrix! Whatever it is! Cheeseburger! It, it sure is strange. Nobody actually remembers how they came here. Hey, what do you mean stupid looking? <laughs> I don't oh. think she's stupid looking at all. Well, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> like Fat Biakio was just saying that everybody else. Oh, it get, looks. No, dumb. he was he was oh. talking about like beady eyed kid and uh, you know the girl with the horns <laughs> and, and the ninja <laughs> and like the person who looks like a mechanic street thug or something. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I don't know. But about what like. Half of them are pretty normal looking, including yeah. her. Yeah, uh, in the opening spread when it showed everyone, she had, that's a camera around her shoulder. Oh, okay, that's a camera? Yeah. Huh, all right. Now, looking at things, I noticed that that she has, like, that... She a has, picnic like, blanket tie? Like a picnic table tie? That's way better than just calling it mere plaid, like <laughs> I was going to say. No, like, on her sleeves and on her, uh, like, on her, like, by her chest yeah. pocket, there's, like, little these little symbols. Anyway, huh. neat. So perhaps she is a, either a journalist or just a mere photographer. But mere you photographer? You know what I mean? That's not what I mean. The oh, my God. The photographer. Her camera shoots lasers and stuff. I don't think you would call that photography, but uh, okay. In the last game, Makoto had his little This Is Hope's Peak. Right, right. Then woke up in, in, the classroom. in a classroom. Here... And, and then met everybody. It's like it was more right. spread out. Whereas here, everyone's immediately crammed into this class. Yeah. And, and nobody really knows what's going on. So it's obvious that whatever it is has already started. Mm -hmm. Like the video game or whatever it is. Right, right. Just, just interesting. So in other words... The moment you set foot on campus, you felt a strange dizziness. And now you're here, and you don't know why. A familiar story, but we're not really surprised. It's important that we know that the situation that led here is the same. Right. Except it's not the same for Hajime. Yeah. That is what I experienced before I arrived here. Am I correct in assuming that's true for all of you? Th th that happened to me too, but... But... Huh? The dizziness wasn't just me? Oh my! Mm. <laughs> Everyone felt the same dizziness. That's weird. That, We're all weird. That is weird, yeah, but... Aha! A new one! A new person! I kind of liked how originally, well, in Dongon 1 anyway, uh, you kind of met the characters in groups of five, so uh -huh, you could uh -huh. sort of let them all sink in and get a sense of them. You know... They're throwing too much at us all at once! Yeah? Based on the way she's talking, I somehow suspect I'll be voicing her. I don't actually know, though. E even if it's just a coincidence, it feels too good to be true. 
You know, from the bandages, she seems like she's really accident prone. I was about like to say, Clutchy. I was thinking she's like the home at girl who managed to brutalize her arm with a, with like a kitchen knife. And, and the way her hair looks, it looks like it's not cut properly. Well, that's, that's like a... Uh, well, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. There's certain things that are uneven, but it's all it's all like straight, so it's like cut at each yeah. of those points. But until we see more, we might not really be able to tell. But I, and she's kind of got that finger poking together thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then the, the red stripe on the apron is actually like a nice touch, huh? This really makes it she, stand out. She kind of seems like she doesn't have much confidence. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying it's not just a coincidence then? <laughs> this is so interesting after the last game. <laughs> Doesn't she look just like Sayaka in the face? She kind of does! I'm, I'm not gonna lie, she looks really hot. <laughs> I, I really like this appearance. No, really, that's like my taste. <laughs> well, I can't judge you. What does that mean? Because Genocide Jill was my stab waifu. Who knows? Maybe this will be about the same. Hmm. So in other words... What? What? But, but, we no! Thought, we thought she was going to say something else. I mean, why just chime in for, hmm? You know why she had to chime in for, hmm? Meaning... We can only speculate who's responsible for this strange phenomenon. We can only speculate? Well, Billy, let's get to work. <laughs> it's the ultimate despair! Okay. <laughs> who's responsible? What is it? Why don't you... It feels like this is going to get even stranger. I have nothing to base this off of aside from how strange it already is. I mean, again, we, we you can't help but notice the computerized thing. There is some reason for that. I mean, it's possible that we've been like, this is a computer simulation video game that we called in the last game or something. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe that's the case. Maybe it's not. We we don't we don't know. We shouldn't get too hung up on it. Yeah, you're right. But we need to look at those possibilities. But I mean, it's they're beyond <laughs> implying it. That's why I think it's not true. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, all of this is made so that somebody who has played the first game sees this yeah. and like starts eyebrow, eyebrow raising. Like through the roof. Yeah, like they're Spock and they're knocking out ceiling <laughs> tiles or something. Like you pull it off and use it as a boot. Ah! Oh my God! What's a Fist of the North Star character doing here? Hugh Jackman, don't kill me! <laughs> so this man has lightning coming off of his eyebrows and he's wearing Jotaro's jacket and chain. Yes, that chain looks like he could murder someone with it. I mean, again, we made the joke that before he looks like he's about 13. Yeah. But yeah. I suppose, I suppose taking taking all the uh, Jotaro and... Uh, he's like, just Hokuto summoned no his lightning Ken, stand. Fist of North Star <laughs> stuff, you know, I, I bet, you know, we were underestimating it. We shouldn't make, we shouldn't do hyperbole. We should actually attempt to assess his age. 15. <laughs> No, no, no. Nailed he's, it! He's 17 like everybody else. It's just he's some sort of hormonal mutant who sprouted from the ground. He's a grass man, obviously. Yeah, he's a grass man. Uh, grass man is... It's an inside Don't worry joke. about it. But all the mooks from Fist of the North Star, like, they say that it's a post-apocalyptic world and nobody has any food and most of the episode plot lines before the plot kicks in are about, like, starving villagers. But there's all these 700-pound muscle men <laughs> wandering the land. So we just hypothesized that they sprouted up like grass from the ground. And then they... during an episode, they literally popped up out of the ground as if they were grown. So they were th hiding underground, but it was just like, they are grass men! So they're, so they're grass men. We can't help but call mooks grass men from time to time, especially when they are non-mook-like grass men mooks. <laughs> so, having gone through all that... Uh, the kanji on his vaguely storm eagle <laughs> Nazi thing uh -huh. emblem on his collar, right? Uh, that that kanji it means high, like uh -huh. uh, or or tall, uh -huh. or uh, like four foot two, no. or uh, good, I guess. Like like a high school, the high in high school is that ah, for ah, I see, I see. But when you want to say that somebody is tall. Uh -huh. Or their nose is long. You would use that. Or, okay. Anyway, then so is he lying? No. there's there's a lot of uh, uses for it, like like an inordinate amount uh, of uses. And then on his other collar, he's got a credit card. Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. And 
Uh, you'll notice from his action lines that he is drawn like he is a 70s manga <laughs> character. Yeah, his lines are all like uh, act moving. So, so it's like we also get like it's the constantly go, flexing. We get like the go nagai thing going on. So <laughs> this and his eyebrows are extremely deadly looking because apparently they can fire lightning bolts. <laughs> So, so what I am thunder talking... Thunder break! Yeah, he, he's going to use thunder break from Great Mazinger. So, so here's the thing, right? This guy is going to make it like three minutes. <laughs> or he's going to be a gigantic wimp. I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, really, I'm not really serious. <laughs> ha! I don't know what you're so worried about, but that doesn't sound like a huge deal. Like me, I'm friggin' large, man. I'm like eight feet tall. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I just, I just see him, and I'm like, space thunder. <laughs> well, I'm all seventies today. What? Is, I don't know. Okay, is this person, girl, a shark? <laughs> I. I mean, um, like, like Dellinger from One Piece? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I think that was how his laugh went. And is that a 400-pound zipper? Oh, God! Like, you could use that zipper as a padlock. Oh, and look, no X's or T's. No, no, T's are okay, but X's, no X's. Uh, that looks like a pair of tools, actually, like a wrench and a screwdriver. Oh, you're crossing. right. Okay, it's a mechanic. And, and there's like a more. lightning bolt thing in pink. Or it's a pink Z. Could be a peak Z, oh! Yeah, my Zinger Z. With the... <laughs> no, what are you talking about? I'm not about to receive my copy of Super Robot Wars X in the mail. Why would you think that? <laughs> to the pallet matrix! Wow, so you know how we mentioned Dellinger? Yeah. Well, I mean, Dellinger wears high heels, and at first you couldn't really tell. That's true. But I mean, Dellinger true. was very much a dude, so this is a dude, but it just doesn't look like it. Cool. How do I sound like a shark? <laughs> Man, you're dropping all kinds of references today. Uh, what do you mean? That is some complicated hair. Doesn't it you look like a little braid on one side? Doesn't that look like it's three different hairstyles? It kind of does. It looks kind of yakuza y in the front, and then it's just kind of all over the place in the back, and then he's got a braid on one side. Now that. That jumpsuit either means that he's a mechanic. The ultimate mechanic! Which might be the case, or that he's like a race car driver. So what I mean is... I mean it's a minor problem. Instead of trying to figure out why we're here, we should try to figure out why we can't leave. Oh, that's like way more measured than I was expecting from, <laughs> based on his appearance. Right? I, I guess he's not actually Mondo. Maybe he really <laughs> is more of the more of the Jotaro thing. All right. Yari yari, Dave. Now... Here I notice some <laughs> fine, fine art. <laughs> Let's see what the palette matrix has to say. I think I know what it has to say. Flagpole. I love you all. I love you all so much. And on, I love you all, Discorders. I love you all, viewers. I love how what, it, what the way it was described on the palette <laughs> matrix was girl who excels at fine art. You are all so wonderful. My life has been enriched so much. <laughs> huh? What do you mean we can't leave? It's so hard to buy shirts. I'll stay here forever with you, ma'am. You are totally a high school student. I believe this. How long has it been since you've been in high school, Billy? Well, I guess don't answer that. Well, I, everyone knows I'm in my mid-30s, so at least a couple decades. So she's got very wild hair. Mm -hmm. She's got like a pin of some sort on her. Yeah, and okay, okay. We don't really have any idea about any of these characters, but she seems to be one of the more normal ones mm -hmm. because her, uh, her outstanding feature is... Easy Not to, like hair horns or lightning brows. Easy to notice? Just as easy to notice? That's one way of putting it, yes. Impossible. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I watched him rush over to the door and try with all his might to pull it open. But oh. it, it won't open. I can't open it. Oh, God. What are you going to do if you run out of air? Why are you all looking at me like that? Huh? Why? A little while after I got here, I tried to leave to go take a shit. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that. TMI, buddy. But that door wouldn't budge at all. I'm so sorry. Don't <laughs> kill me. And by the way, I know you're doing the thunderbreak pose. 
<laughs> well, they're not, but it's closer than we're ever gonna get. Hey, hey, what's going on? Why? What is up with the lightning theme that's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Jeez. Even with all my might, I couldn't open it. It'd be absolutely impossible for all of you. I mean, I bench press like cows and stuff. Hold on, I gotta pick my nose here. Uh. I have to be as vulgar as possible. Man, like the ultimate nah. I was gonna say the ultimate net cats, hot blooded sort of yeah, character. Yeah. But, uh, uh. Boo, 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 boo. Eh? What do you mean you couldn't open it? Why? That's not possible. Oh my God, David! I am going to kill the Discorders. Well, at least I don't have to voice a little character like this. Doesn't she kind of remind you of somebody who's maybe like 13? Yeah, probably, and not the big burly guy with lightning brows. Ha ha ha! But fortunately, I never have to do this sort of a little voice again. <sighs> but she's very traditional. <laughs> I like how her, her, her twin tails look like that someone could throw her as a boomerang. Yeah, no, she's totally a boomerang. <laughs> She, she's right! It's impossible! If someone that massive and charged with electricity, I guess, couldn't do it, there's no hope for the rest of us! Because when I went through the door, it opened normally. It wasn't locked at all. Uh, I mean, you maybe should say something about why you went through that door, you know, from coming, like, through the Matrix passageway. And why is she... That has to be a sword, It right? has to be a or sword. Or maybe a bow. It could be a bow. All right, yeah, it could be a bow. But it's either a sword or a bow, I, and is that a flame kind of uh, yeah it looks I, like a flame icon it's interesting how all the characters have like these little not logos but well, not, it's like not in, icons in the first either. one some of them had them like hifumi had some logos on his man do we just not really notice it so much i think then? we did mention it once and then never looked at it again okay palette matrix who shall it be i've always liked this character archetype as well as near mm. as we can tell yeah 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 but there is something to be said for being able to identify sort of a way a character is just by looking at them that means right. that the character is designed well doesn't mean that yeah. we're right but yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying like the simplest surface like level she's stuff. got like an armband like a hall monitor kind of uh she's got maybe? some kind of weapon behind her know. it's got to be a weapon maybe maybe even a wooden sword or something yeah, like a bokuto she uh Th this character archetype, kind of like Laura from Cold Steel. Yeah. Definitely a fun type. I like how the bangs on the left side of her head just shoop down like a blade. We are spending an inordinate amount of time discussing the shape of people's hair. Well, they spend an inordinate amount of time designing them, I'm sure. Well, somebody out there appreciates ya. Yes, character designers. Though I don't understand what forces are at work here. Anyway. There's no denying that we have been locked inside this classroom. Oh, uh, I noticed we haven't talked to someone. Ah, uh, yeah, huh? Locked inside? Have we talked to everybody? I don't think so. There's still some other people. No, there's one, two... We haven't talked to not Koto. Okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and Hajime makes thirteen. Twelve was so the there's Makoto two more. light. Uh -huh. uh, and then, well, then there's the girl right... There. Oh, okay. Like, okay, so uh, to the left of the ninja and the ninja. Yeah, okay, so okay, that's so 15. Okay, so there's three people we haven't talked to. So that's right, okay. That's That means everybody's here. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I suddenly became aware of how heavy my body felt. Yeah, I mean, look at the people you're facing. <laughs> like their fighting spirit is okay, just pressuring now me? That, yeah, now that I'm looking at it, like the uh, the ninja guy has a bandaged arm. Uh-huh. The uh, home at girl wh who surely savaged her arm with a knife. Yeah. Uh, has a bandaged arm. Uh, the Oni girl has a bandaged arm. I mean, that that's looks more like a fashion, like an arm warmer or something. Yes, but it's yeah. it, absolutely it, it is. It still looks like but a bandage. It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up with all these bandaged arms? Are like they gonna like unravel like a super powerful weapon? <laughs> you know, like Vijector or something like that. I, I don't know. As though a feeling of unspeakable dread began settling on my shoulders. Because you know you're going to have to spend how much time with these people? <laughs> That's unspeakable dread, all right. M maybe we're getting mixed up in something dangerous? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Is he Makoto's son? <laughs> Makoto Jr. Well, you know, that hair... But then who was the mother? We well, can't Kyoko. really tell by the... Huh? Well, Kyoko. I guess you're right. That would make sense. Well, anyway, weird things like that aside... Or perhaps, doesn't it make more sense to think that 
this is the entrance exam? That makes a lot of sense. I mean, it should happen in a classroom. No, wait. Yeah, of course it does. Or yeah, it could, you, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entrance exam? You mean Hope's Peak Academies? However... The quintessential girl. The ultimate girl! The ultimate girl. <sighs> but according to Hope's Peak Academy, no such entrance exam exists. But they may say that publicly, but it's possible that this is actually a special entrance exam. We are going to suspect you the entire game, not Koto. Look, this guy, <laughs> whoever he is, is clearly going to be the Kyoko. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you're wrong. This is not an entrance exam. What? What was that just now? Hey, bastard. Well, I, I see. Uh, Where did he come from? Did we just, did we just miss him? He must have been hidden behind somebody. Yeah, I think he was in the background. Really? How did we never see him? I didn't see him. Well, there's so many people here. How are we supposed to get to know him already in one <laughs> scene? Hey, fat ass. Why'd you make that cutesy voice all of a sudden? Okay, well, uh, there's a lot to unpack about this one, aside from the fact he's wearing Byakuya's suit. Uh, that's a classy pinstripe suit. Got some sort of skull, or like, a uh, cow skull on his tie? A little <laughs> pin on his, uh, Yeah, who knows, or... who knows what the heck that is? It, this is interesting. This is interesting. This yeah. Is interesting hmm. design, and like, the, the shave and the hair, that really kind of makes the design, I think. I won't dispute your blunt remark about my weight. Because it's true. But that voice you just heard was not mine. Huh? Huh? Then whose voice is it? Um. Um, it's actually mine. Uh. Huh? Who's there? Who said that? Where are you? I'll fry you with my eyebrows. It sounds like it came from behind the teacher's desk. She looks really normal. I mean, she's got a backpack, she's got a hoodie. Well, kind of overly cute. Or not not yeah. overly cute. Well, she's got like the little bow and like her eyes are pink. Well, like you like you had said like you had said before, the like her body language when Made she her was when kind she of was, shyish. Yeah, when she was standing, kind of had this this uh this shy, girly, cute thing going on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Then there's the the underpants, the panties hair clip she's wearing. Those look like panties. I can't unsee it now that I have seen it. Those are panty hair that's a panty hair clip, right? Those are panties? Because <laughs> it looks like panties. Behind the teacher's desk. All right, I see everyone has arrived. Let's begin. Oh my God. Are we... Okay. Oh my God, really? <laughs> what the? No! <laughs> no! What is that? That is the correct response to that. Like a stuffed animal. That's right. I am a squeezably soft stuffed animal. Monokuma always said he's not a teddy bear. You're right. Magical miracle girl Usami. <laughs> AKA Usami. So I see <laughs> where. You got the star in the same spot as Pudgy Pretty Princess. Yeah, Princess Puggles. Whatever her name was. So I see. I see now. Where Zero Usa from Virtue's <laughs> Last Reward came from. It all has become clear. Magical Miracle Girl Usami. AKA Usami. Just don't add the honorific. I may not look like it, but I am your squeezably soft teacher. I uh, don't think you should describe yourself as that as a self respecting teacher. Nice well. To meet since we've been since we've been discussing random anime references more so than normal, which we generally don't actually do all that much. Well, yeah, but Don Gon does do a lot of references. Right. This just reminds me of Madoka Magica. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, I know you never saw that. I never saw it. No. Uh, extremely evil, really cute things. Extremely evil, really cute things. I think that sums it up pretty well. Huh? Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I the only one who's seeing this? Yes. Oh, no. What's going on? Nah, I see it too. Huh? Uh, what's with her eyes? Don't they? I, 
I don't, don't know. Don't, do you see it? Is it just me? Yeah, they're kind of off center. The, <laughs> I, it just kind of looks slightly googly anyway. <laughs> What's with this talking chihuahua? Can I also say that uh, we've had a couple of pieces of music directly from the first game so uh, far, like uh, this one? Excellent. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, I really like the sound design and all that good stuff. Well, all I, all I mean by that is some, sound, some songs are the same and some aren't. Is yeah. there something to that? Probably not, but it's something we're keeping in mind. Eh? That's a chihuahua? Everyone! Does everybody here know what a rabbit is? No! It's a lovable animal that's very fluffy and soft. <laughs> that's what I am, a singing, dancing, talking rabbit mascot. Help me, we have all died. <laughs> this is terrible. A singing, dancing, talking, fluffy rabbit has shown up and is surely going to kill us all. This is horrible. What evils await us? Oh. Hold on, let me process this first. Okie dokie. Um. Um, well, what do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. I, I've never seen a stuffed animal that can sing, dance, and talk before. It's probably remote controlled or something. Don't act like such a pussy over a child's toy. Hmm. Even if it's remote controlled, doesn't it look too lifelike? That's pretty advanced for a toy. Lifelike? How many rabbits have you seen? That that looks like a stuffed animal. Yeah. Stop talking. Its movements and mannerisms are not the issue. More importantly, based on what it just I like said, how he is Biaki. <laughs> It seems you know something about our current situation. And he's already taken the lead. Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. I'm the lead teacher of this school trip. Uh-huh. Ah. A school trip. Uh. I see. That's why we're not in Hope's Peak. Well, or something. we are in Hope's Peak, though. Yeah. But we saw we saw the palm trees. Yeah. Uh, the windows aren't barred, either. Oh, I didn't... Well... Oh, wow. Yeah. School trip. Come on. Hey, what do you mean, school trip? When the whole school's been moved, no less. I hadn't even noticed the windows weren't barred. Yeah. And those palm trees are all over, like the logo and everything. Okay. A large group of students go on a chaperone trip with the lead teacher. It's the biggest event of the school year. Look, we're not looking for such a literal answer. Now let's depart for the fun school trip. De De depart? This is extremely trustworthy, especially in Hope's Peak Academy and in a Danganronpa game. Extremely trustworthy. <laughs> Nothing bad is going to happen. What's she going to do? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! So there, okay. I guess we aren't in Oaks Peak. Not, we're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. It's just an island. Well, that's completely different. Yeah. That means we're not, we're not, the, the area we have is going to be bigger, presumably. Yeah. And the sorts of situations are going to be completely different. Yeah. I was really thinking that everything would be in Oaks Peak, but I guess not. Huh? Bet all those people in suits are going to be uh, pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't believe my eyes. Not just my eyes, but my brain too. The world just stopped making sense. The classroom collapsed like a stage set and what appeared before me instead was blue sky, white clouds, blue sea, white waves. What the hell is this? Yeah, you and me both, Hajime, you and me both. No matter how I tried to rationalize it, it was abnormal, clearly unreasonable. Utterly crazy. Blatantly wrong. How yes. many other ways can I say this? Definitely blatantly wrong. I like how the characters are... I feel like there's more in their designs than there was before, but not so far as it goes... Not, or not so far as to make it over-designed. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I but know what they're you mean. more complex. Also... So so he's he's like a greaser or something, whipping out like the, that comb like that. I guess. And what is that? 
What is that, like, TV <laughs> thing <laughs> over there? That's to make the class announcements. Yeah. Obviously, there's I a guess photo it, cam yeah, right there. You're right, that's a monitor and there's our camera. <laughs> um... What? It's <laughs> terrifying like this. Yes! Are you kidding me? This is a joke, right? Emergency. Where are we? Okay, calm I'm down! I'm seriously! Calm down, calm down! You don't have to cry so much that that much fluid comes out! <laughs> huh? What's going on? Everyone, please stay calm. How can anybody stay calm? Look at those waves. <laughs> they're, they're higher than the beach. <laughs> There's a seagull. There's a seagull flapping around too. <laughs> there is no reason to panic. See? Look around. Feast your eyes on this beautiful ocean. It's like your heart is being washed clean, isn't it? No, it my washed... heart is not being washed clean. <laughs> if my heart were being washed clean, I, I, oh, this is too much. <laughs> it washes away everything, even all the bad things. Hold on. Hold on, give us the details. Where in the world are we? Um... Where you ask? Uh, well, obviously we're <laughs> out where it's better. Out where it's wetter. Out where it's sweater. Out where it's petter. Out where it's... Uh... Out where I'm a debtor. <laughs> out by the sea. I understand this is the sea, but what are we doing here? Um, you know, your throat's gonna get hoarse if you keep screaming like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> My God! <laughs> but we were just at school, and now we are by the sea. This is impossible. No problem. Please do not worry. The school trip has just started. That's all. When you say school trip, does that mean that it's going to be, you know, shorter than, uh, <laughs> uh, than a communal student life that lasts forever? Uh -huh, that means we get to go back to Hope's Peak, right? Oh, God. I hope not. But, like, why are we on a school trip all of a sudden? You totally skipped all the stuff that comes first. She, she's right. We're all supposed to be attending Hope's Peak Academy. There's too much you need to explain. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Hope's Peak Academy. I see. I see. You don't say. You guys are feeling unsure about Hope's Peak Academy. Then in that case... Alrighty. Please forget about Hope's Peak Academy. That's why we're having a school trip in the first so place. So in other words, please forget about Dongan Rompa and think about this brand new situation, which is in no way going to be similar to the last one. I, okay. Except it... I mean, we still don't know about a... Is there a killing game? She hasn't said anything like that. Hasn't been talking about despair. Right, right. Huh? The hell do you mean we should forget about it? Come on. Hey, what are you? Just, what are you scheming? <laughs> what? I'm not scheming anything. I'm doing this for everyone's sake. I'm praying from the bottom of my heart that... Hope will grow within everyone's heart. Okay. I'm the anti-Kuma. Really? <laughs> like, is she on our side? I doubt that, but... So... Okay, so this does mean that it's definitely going to be different from the previous game, because now we have a remote control robot who is chilling for Hope. Yeah! I mean, you don't suppose she's lying, do you? Uh, we can't trust anyone here, David! You're absolutely right. We have no idea about anything right now. No problem. There's nothing dangerous on this island whatsoever. <laughs> so please, there is no need to worry at all until the killing games begin. Wait. Island. Did you just say island? I don't know why I'm reacting in this fashion, <laughs> because when I look around... Island is a definite possibility. <laughs> I guess it could be a beach, but... Yep, and it certainly is beautiful, isn't it, children? It was prepared just for us. An island free from other people and danger. Okay, now putting this in the context of what we already know about Danganronpa, this is not good either. No. Completely hiding away from society. 
like isolating yourself from everything and uh-huh. saying that only here is good. That's not entirely what she's saying, but is that what they're leading up to? That kind of seems like kind of like yeah. hiding away hope in a box. Remember, hope, yeah. like where is it in the is Greek this island Pandora? Yeah, in the Greek myth, of course, hope hope was all that was left at the bottom of Pandora's box after it was open. Is this like going over to the open Pandora's box and plopping hope back in and then closing the lid? As the legend went, she, Pandora shut the box before hope could escape. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah what I'm saying is. What I'm saying is, is this putting hope back oh. in the box and then closing the lid so nobody else can get to it? Yeah, that's yeah. That's kind of, based on what she's saying, that's what it makes me think of. Are you saying this island is uninhabited? Could it be? Perhaps you brought us to this uninhabited island to make us kill each other? I am <laughs> really not Makoto, I promise this. I promise this. <laughs> What an unusual thing to jump to, sir. What? K- kill each other? What a horrible, awful, nasty thing to think. Nah, yes. no, no way. So I'm totally not lying. So she's she is uh, the white angel of hope. <laughs> uh, is is Monokuma actually going to be monochrome this time and come in as the black bear of despair? I like how that rhymed. Ha <laughs> ha Bloody business, like causing violence or inflicting pain, is a big no-no on this island. Uh, antiseptic island, eh? Even the word kill, just saying it horrifies me. Oh no. Kill! So scary. Why? It's just the opposite. But this right? isn't, this isn't, well, I mean, I guess it is better, quite a great deal better. Just wait for the other shoe to drop, David. Yeah. That's on fire and covered in bees. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Then, what is this school trip you mentioned? What did you intend for us to do on this island? Oh, oh wait, and then we get back from the school trip to Hope's Peak where we have to kill each other then? I don't think that's going to happen. The Would game is going to be on this island, right? But you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, I shall announce it to everyone right now. Got it? While you all relax on this island paradise, you must get along and strengthen your bonds with one another. Isn't this... That is the main rule on this heart-throbbing school trip. Isn't uh, that's what we were talking about at the beginning of the last game? That everybody needs to take the time to strengthen their bonds so that they don't do anything foolish. Because yeah. nobody would try to do anything if they actually had, say, remembered each other. Right, right, okay? right. I, I mean, I, I mean, in that case, there was still the, like Junko and Mukuro. Right, right, right. So this is sort of doing that, right? Yes. The tack here might be to build up their bonds and get them to know each other. And then, and then make them, them kill each other. Yeah. That would be even more despairing. Yeah, maybe. But, you know, Junko's dead. Well, right. That's why it's a different person. That's why I the mean, tactics we, are different. We know it's a different ultimate despair. Yeah. Whatever that means. Right, but right. But, like, are they going for the same thing? We just don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Heart throbbing school trip. Ugh. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope and lazing about, free from pain, free from suffering. Truly, this lovey-dovey, heart-throbbing school trip is... Yippee-ki-yay! Everyone's homework! Yippee-ki-yay! Huh? Everyone's homework. What? To be free from pain and what else was it that she said? Like suffering? Free from pain and suffering in in uh, lazy, no responsibility, yeah. comfort. And that's homework. And we're supposed to build our bonds? Yeah. Hmm. What the hell does that even mean? Now then. Let the heart throbbing school trip begin. Uh, and now it's the bonding event music. Yeah. It goes without saying, but I had no idea what she was talking about. I couldn't follow her words at all. And then, just like that, like a curtain slowly lowering, the prologue ended! (laughs) My mind ground to a halt. What does that mean? Oh! Uh... It's the opening! Dongan Island! Hajime, okay, what do we get here? Chiaki Nanami, Nanami, Sonia, Sonia Nevermind, never <laughs> Akane Owari, 
Uh, Sionji something, I couldn't They're see. going too fast! Soda! <laughs> his name is So. This is cool, I like this actually a lot. Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. And other people with no names. <laughs> what? Don't we get... Okay, no? What? I'm confused! Why didn't what? everybody's name get... Maybe they did, it's just moving too fast. Here we go. Nagito. Miyoda Ibuki. Okay. Pekoyama? Pekoyama? Her name was Pekoyama. What the heck name is Pekoyama? The names are even... Yeah. It is Byakuya! It's in Byakuya Togami! <laughs> what the hell are Makoto and Byakuya doing here? <laughs> Huge panic at the heart's throbbing school trip. Uh, yes, please. Okay, <laughs> that seems like a good enough time to call it quits for today. <laughs> what the heck <laughs> is even happening? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we can't even react. <laughs> this, this... I fully agree and look forward to the next episode. Which will come as quickly as possible.